We'll guide you through how to fix your PS5 controller not connecting to your PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We'll be going over multiple different methods, so make sure you watch this whole video. The first thing I recommend you do is you just try resetting the controller. If you didn't know, on the back of your controller, there's actually a small button in a hole which can go and reset your controller and it just sort of re refreshes everything. And what you'll need is a small tool like a paper clip or a pin and then you just go and put it in there and you can hold it down for about three to five seconds. You'll feel it click when you hold it and then wait three to five seconds and your controller will be reset. So that's probably been enough now. You can then let go and then we can try connecting it again, whether that's via Bluetooth or a cable. After you've connected your PS5 controller again, then see if it will work. Now also, what I would do if it still isn't working is just try connecting it using its cable. So go and plug the USB end into your PC and then the USB-C into the top of your controller just as if you were charging it. Just like that and then go and see if it will now work. If it still isn't working, then what you want to do is either go and open or get something called Steam. Steam's sort of like a game launcher and a game marketplace and you may be thinking, I don't have any games on Steam, don't worry. If you don't have it, go and get it and then go to your library. And then if you don't have a game, then what you can do is go to the bottom left and click on add a game and you can actually add non-Steam games to it. I'll show you that in a moment. But what you first need to do is go to the top left and press on Steam and then tap on settings and then go down to controller. And what you want to do is toggle on enable Steam input for PlayStation controllers. The great thing about Steam is that it's got fantastic controller drivers, which makes it really good for using in games. And as I said, if you don't have a Steam game, just click on add a game in the bottom left, and then you can go and click on add a non-Steam game and your files will then open. You can browse through your applications here and you can also click on browse to add more games or applications. These are just the ones that it's automatically found. So you can just go and click on it on the left hand side and then go and click on add selected programs and it will then go and add it here. Then click it and you press play and then you're launching it through Steam. And that will then allow you to go and use uh, the controller drivers Steam has. If the Steam method didn't work for you, then what I recommend doing is trying something called DS4 Windows. So type it in DS4 Windows and what this is, is controller drivers basically. So basically it allows you to go and use PS4 and PS5 controllers on your Windows PC. So click on it and then you can go to the top right and click on download and click on download again and it will then download. And then what we can do is go and run it. So open up your downloads in your file explorer and then it's gonna be a zip file which you can just drag onto your desktop like this. And then you want to go and open up the zip file and we can then go and extract it. So click on extract all, um, I'll have it all like that. Then press extract and it won't take long. And it will then go and create a folder with the stuff in and we can then go and open it up. And then you want to go and find ds4windows.exe double click on it and then just click on program folder uh, and then what you want to do is make sure you enable support for PS5 controllers and then you can press close and then this will go and open up. You may have to go and do like a quick install but it's super simple. You just have to go and in install the drivers. It basically runs you through everything you need to do. Um, I'll probably try and put a screenshot on what it looks like now. I've done it before though and then it's going to go and take you to this screen here make sure you click on start in the bottom right like this and then it's going to go and find your inputs so make sure your controller is connected whether that's via bluetooth or wire i just use wire and that's it and then what you can do is now go into games and ds4 windows is a bit like steam but it's just another alternative and it's got and it's going to sort of give you extra support for your controllers and then go and see if your controller should work as it should do with these fixes if you found this useful please leave a like